Hey there, Elder Statesman back here again. Um, so this week, instead of another couple disastrous drafts with Ixlon Block, um, I decided I was going to do Omniscient Draft. Um, I didn't get to do this last time around, though it looked pretty fun. Um, for people who don't know, the way this works is you don't have to pay the mana cost for any of the spells in your deck, so you basically don't have to run any of the land. Um, and they're going to automatically give you one mana of each color um, to use each turn for activating abilities. Um, <clears throat> but then the trade-off then is you only start with three cards in your hand instead of the full seven. So you basically are just trying to draft the most powerful card um, in the pack each and every time. Uh, some cards I, I feel get more powerful. Um, uh, card drawing especially is really good. Um, you want to get to your big bombs as quick as possible. And because you can draw the cards without spending mana, you can immediately play whatever cards you draw. So anytime you draw a card drawing spell, it's like you just drew two. Um, or three, if you get a card that draws three. Um, counter spells can be pretty good because you don't have to leave mana open. Um, because they don't cost anything. Um, unconditional removal. Uh, players are going to be playing a lot more large creatures. So things like uh, you know a two damage removal spell might not be as good as a uh, uh, just kill target creature type spell. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do this and have a little fun this week. I think next week they come back with Ravnica Allegiance, which is good. That's what I'm looking forward to. Um, we're going to use gold. We'll give this a try. Let's see what we got here. All right. Uh, what do we got? So there's nothing too expensive to begin with here. Um, Power Stone Shard seems terrible. <laughs> uh, let's see. Guardians of Koilos could be good. Because you'd immediately be able to play whatever historic permanent you just uh, dropped. Um, Nava Deem of Veneration, maybe. Um, that Grace looks okay. Oh, Eviscerate right here. This has got to be the card, Unconditional Removal. Okay, 7 6. Uh, up to one target player's life total becomes half. That's incredibly strong. You play this on turn one, your opponent starts at 10 life. Um, Ugaros, the empty one. Um, when, they, when it deals combat damage, they discard a card at random. Um, and if they can't draw a card, that one's not bad either. And Final Parting actually isn't that bad. Because... You're going to end up playing basically every card you pick except for like five. The putting a card into your graveyard would be a good way to just get a crappy card out of your deck while at the same time getting your best card. So all three of those look really strong. We also have Divination. Um, Syncopate does not look good at all in this format. Um, big Dumb 5-5. Five five. It basically, it's going to come down to one of these three. Um, I think the the card drawing inherent in this one uh, makes it the best out of the three. Um, especially because uh, in this format, your opponent's going to empty their hand out. So they're going to have an empty hand, which means you're going to get to draw a card and immediately play it. So we'll go with that. Um, top five cards, reveal a historic card, put it into your hand. That could be good. Um, that's essentially card drawing. Um, Shauna can't be targeted. That's not bad. Um, what else do we got here? Soul Salvage, card advantage. Minus five, minus five, but you'd never be able to activate it. Most likely because it takes six and they only give you one of each color. So you only have five mana for activations. So we kind of want to avoid that one. Basically comes down to board the weatherlight or Shauna. This one might not be as good since you're only going to have a couple cards to start with, so it might not get very big. I don't know how much historic stuff I'm going to have. 
that that might be worth it. Mm, man, it's tough. I think I'm going to go with the essentially free card drawing. Flame of Keld. I mean, that is card drawing. And it's pretty easy to empty your hand than to draw two cards. So I could see that one being decent. Card drawing here, that looks good. Cloud Reader Sphinx. Scry is decent. Um, Skin Witch, we don't have the Kicker. So Kicker's not going to be as good. Um, I'm thinking... This is a draw two. That might do something with the, the red, but it's that discard your hand first. Makes it not quite as good as a regular old draw two. Um, kicker five. We, I mean, we do get that five mana. That might be enough to kick these. Like to kick that one here. I just don't know. I'm going to go with the Cloud Reader Sphinx. Primordial Worm, 7-6. A lot of these Guardians of Koilos. Uh, top three cards you your library in your graveyard and you gain three life. I mean, that one might not be bad because it's a flyer. Um, why just do the Primordial Worm? All right. Um... That could be good. 5-5 five, five Death Touch is not bad. That card for your graveyard to your hand. That's a dead card. I don't know if the mana you get for activating abil abilities um, is on your opponent's turn. So you might not be able to kick this. So I think it comes down to these two. I kind of like just getting the big monster. Draw a card, then discard a card unless you exile a historic card. That could be tough because it's not... You're not going to have the... The, uh, the lands to pitch. Um... I'm thinking just the 5-5 five, five Death Touch or the 7-6. The Death Touch might be better. I'll we'll just do the 7-6. We'll get the big guy. Harder to kill. Um, so we took Artifact or Enchantment. You may put a land. Yeah, you're not going to have any lands. Most likely. Kind of like the Gaius Protector as a way to get these other guys through unblocked. We definitely don't want that. We definitely don't want... Well, this could work because the target creatures can't block. But there might not be a land to target. So we definitely don't want either of those. Um, Shield of the Realm... Could work. It definitely would be historic. So something we could search for with the board the weather light. Ooh, final parting came back. I uh, will take that. Um, here, soul salvage, soul salvage. Immediately get after they kill two of my creatures. Immediately get them back and put them back into play. Seems strong. Counter target non creature spell. The untapped three lands doesn't really matter. Um, I don't need to add one man of any color. So it basically comes down to these two. I kind of like the counter non creature spell. They've got some big effect. That could be decent. Uh, it's an artifact. No. Demonic figure. When it dies, return it to hand. Nice. I'll take that, I guess. And I guess got Memorial to War. Ah, Moldrotha. I like that effect. Another final parting. Uh, what else do we got here? Divest. Probably not that good. 
Um, Tiana's pretty good. We're definitely going to go Muldrotha. Because since everything's free, being able to place stuff out of your graveyard seems really strong. Pull of Thrawn. Destroy all lands. Return... No. It's not going to do anything in this format. Um, board the Weatherlight. Help search for cards like Muldrotha. Adelie's... Eh. Trickster could be good as well. I kind of want the board the Weatherlight. Chainer's Torment. Um, Dark Bargain and Divination both seem pretty good. I want to... Basically, this deals me an extra two damage in return for getting to see an extra card and put one of them in the, into the graveyard that I don't necessarily want. Um, so it would dig me deeper. But I don't know if that's worth it necessarily for the two damage. I think I might just go the Divination. So the instant speed's nice. Yeah, we'll grab Dark Bargain. Joda. You may pay that instead of paying the mana cost. Well, I don't have to pay the mana cost for the spells anyways. So. Bayleth Gorger. I think we can kick it. We'll give it a try. Um, although this is something I can search for with the board the weather lights. I can get a 4-3 flyer. This would be a 7-7. Seven, seven. <coughs> I think I'll grab that. Potential 7-7 seven, seven seems better. And another Jota. So we got here. King's Intractable. Target Enchantment. Discard a card. Draw a card. And we'll go with Jota. Opt. Seems pretty good. Fire Intervention is not bad. Five damage is a lot. And can destroy an artifact. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards this rather than the opt. Because five damage will deal will kill a lot of stuff in this format. Uh, here. <laughs> Do I have... What do I have for legendary creatures? One, two, three, I would get to play this out of my graveyard every turn. That's one thing I should be looking for, make sure I got instant, so I got sorcery there, instant there. Sorcery there. I want multiple sorceries in instants. I've got a fair amount of sorceries. I'm going to grab this as an instant. Although that one... With mold... Oh, can I only do one a turn? Up to one. So that creates a 1-1 one, one every turn. Yeah, I'd rather get the Ancient Animus because of the fighting. Uh, Curator's Ward... Draw two cards if it dies. X is the number of wizards. Could be good. I've got that wizard. Grab that guy. Final parting. Yes. Um, unwind, probably. Rescue could be good. Uh, unwind kind of does the same thing. Just counter what kills my creature rather than bouncing my creature. Um, I should be able to kick that guy. 
This draws a card, though. It's a combat trick. That's pretty good. Big dumb guy. I think I can kick that. Traxos. Okay, what else we got? Song of Freilis. So the first two turns don't do much because I don't need to tap for mana. It's four damage. So that's not bad. Got the Ancient Animus. Hearing Surveyor is not good. Um, exile Target Historic Permanent Control. Mm, I like Traxos. Just keep trying to get the... Uh, ooh, Raph Capuchin. I like that. Yep, we'll go with him. Turn another historic control to its owner's hand. I don't know if there's any that I would want to return, but... Maybe. Uh, discard two cards could be... Good, especially on turn one. My well, onslaught might not be bad. Hmm. I think I might try the skin witch and see. Turn one kick to skin witch could be pretty good. Uh, Historic Spell gets plus one until end of turn. Indestructible seems not bad. I'm not big on the discard here. Don't have a lot of Aura's enchantments. Four four flyer. Let's we'll go with that. Skizik. Um... 5-5 five, five, Trample. Search for a creature. That should be pretty good. Grab that. Dread Shade. Just a 3-3. Three, three. Blink of an Eye could be good. Because it's card drawing. Now we'll get that. Chronicler. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. Soul Savage. Give the flame a kill to try. Um, Primordial worm. Just to destroy target artifact or enchantment might be worth it to have available. Okay. Oh, so I only have 42 cards. Oh, because they took the land out of the pack. So I only need to get rid of two. Um, I think Warlord's Fury does draw a card. Maybe the Demonic Biggers. Oh, the Memorial to War. Definitely get rid of that. Okay. Well, there's my deck. Deck building's easy in this format. Just pick your two worst cards. All right.
Eh, I guess I'll keep. We'll hold the Raph Capuchin. Pretty good. Okay. Kind of want to wait and try to trap the Urgros, block it with the Raf Capuchin. He has the block, the guy's protector, so I can take out the Orgoros at least. That card doesn't look very good. Creature spell, nice. Interesting. Well, I'll definitely kill the Sage Latinum. the top of the deck and that's not bad for me draw three cards next turn seems pretty good okay not exactly what I wanted but Kings first strike okay Rotha is probably what I want to play. Seems very strong. Cast creature. Um, do the protector. I got the first strike for blocking, so that seems pretty good. Oh, I should have cast that on my turn. I didn't realize it was sorcery. Oh, well. Oh, 
don't know where it showed my extra mana, but... <laughs> it's going to bring back the Flame of Keld, too, now that my hand was empty. Alright, well that worked really well. That is a keeper. I really like the Soul Salvage. Mm, divination, strong. Oh, I should have done this at the end of his turn. Oh well. Hope he doesn't have a counter spell. Uh, I want put two cards into your hand. I want the intervention and I want the unwind. Cast his enchantment. Well, Drotha just seems flat out busted in this format. I guess I probably should have, because now I can't fire intervention at, but... Eesh. It'll get some damage on me, unless he's got a sacrifice out outlet. I'm gonna recast this fire elemental. Oh, and he's got no cards in his hand. So maybe this wasn't necessarily the best to, kick, to keep. It says pay, but I don't have... Or did I use it all? You only get the five total? If so, then the kicked cards are definitely not very good. Okay, so I do have mana there. Okay. 
Oh, so it's just not available for kicker. It's just for activating abilities, I guess. I don't have any creatures I can do here. He has the block, so hopefully I can survive his next attack. That's weird. Prevent two that if source would deal damage to equipped creature, why didn't it? Oh, because it still would have died because of the two. Okay. Why is it making me pay? It should be free. Right? Or maybe that... Oh, okay. Maybe that's where it's going. Is I'm actually having to spend the mana... To pay for Muldrotha. Okay, so let's kick this. And get back to fiery intervention. Swing with the team. He's got to block both. Ah, I got around my fiery intervention trick. Getting the hang of this format. Obviously, you just play Muldrotha and win. Right down to two? Okay. Three tarot cards in the graveyard in the library. Okay. It does draw a card. Gotta block the protector, so that's gonna take out the fire elemental.
Final Parting just got a lot better, I realized, because I can put a creature into the graveyard or a permanent into the graveyard that I can cast with Muldrotha. So, like a Demonic Vigor. Looks like it'd be pretty good. I don't want to discard my removal yet, so... For two cards, where... Okay, so I want... Demonic Vigor, and I want Muldrotha. Put card into your hand. Okay. Protect it with the Demonic Vigor and the Unwind. And I got enough left there that I can get the guy's protector into play. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. Deals two damage. Um, is that worth countering? This gain two life. I don't really want him to gain two life, so yeah, we'll counter that. Creatures control have haste. Okay. Well, obviously, I'm just going to block with Madrotha. Um, I'll take the Abomination, I guess. Do I want to take out the Fire Elemental or the Garna? Oh, well, I guess I got no choice to take out the Fire Elemental. It's not the best, but I can drop a demonic figure on a primordial worm. Kitu Chronicler is not very good, but I don't necessarily want to mulligan down to two. So I'll keep. start by my opponent.
Wow, whenever you cast a historic draw card, that's pretty strong. And he got a Muldrotha. Ugh! At least he can't kick the skin witch. Might as well play this out as a blocker. Okay, so... What I've learned from watching this is that the draw twos are just super awesome. I mean, he drew so many cards that first turn. The rest of his cards didn't even have to be that good. He just got so much in the play on turn one. So next time, get as many of those as you can. It's weird he didn't attack with everything. seed this game. He had a very strong first turn. Okay. That's instant. I can play that in. Okay. We're going to keep. We're going to pass. I'll play this guy on my opponent's turn. Use Ancient Animus to uh, um, fight something. Then drop Flame of Keld at instant speed. save that. I'll do a lot more damage next turn if you play something big.
Ah, that's unfortunate. Okay. Oh, well, Fire Elemental will get to deal 10. I kind of want to save the Fiery Intervention now, just taking out the Jota. I mean, I get to deal 10 damage, and maybe that's worth it. But I can use the Befuddle as a way to kill the Jota and draw a card and save the Intervention, which is probably the better way to do it. I also should have used Shield of the Realm, but... Oh, he did it to himself. Interesting. <clears throat> He's going to use this now. Draw the card. Oh, very nice. I have. Oh, I got some. that for the Muldrotha? What am I going to cast here? Okay, so I want... I want a creature removal, probably. If they want that, and maybe... Card drawing? Creature removal? Eviscerate. Choose one into your hand. Okay, so we're gonna kill that. We're gonna kill that. We're gonna soul salvage for Mildrotha and Raph. Again, the flame of Keld. All right. I 
I probably should have gotten the demonic vigor to protect the Muldrotha, but we'll hope it wasn't a mistake. Yep, I think kicking this. <coughs> Make my opponent discard. Run the muck, okay. Might as well just play this as a 2 2. Should turn off back to enchantment. I don't really need that. Um. Take your Embolus's clutches. Winter's impulse. get to the seven wins. <clears throat> I like the final parting. Because that gets me Muldrotha and the Demonic Bigger. So we will keep. Uh, I'll go for the draw card. See what I get. Yeah. Nice. All right. into your hand. Blessed Light. It was my big power play there. He's one for... Oh my gosh, that card is so good in this format. Discarded it. Why? The card seems really good. Give me something good. I'll take that.
And I'll go ahead and trade for the Kelden Raider. Oh, that's pretty good for him. Needed to get some of my own card draw going. <laughs> That's a pretty strong one. to light. Yeah, I'm pretty much dead. We'll just concede this one. I guess I'll keep. I don't know if I have any real good target for Blink of an Eye. I make a Blink of my own Feral Abomination. Saves me six life, but then I lose the Demonic Figure.
Okay. Well, that guy's gonna get eviscerated. Okay, my attack drops me down to nine. But he drops me to one, so I gotta leave the abomination back to block. Hey, discard the. Oh, that was the wrong one to discard. Dang it. Strikes pretty good. In your pure blood. Okay. No attacks, I gotta block. So my my only hope is to trick him casting the wrath and instant speed to untap the Traxos. Give me more blockers than he thinks I'm going to have. By me at least a turn. survive, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm still dead. Well, let's see what I get. Am I going to get the double pack? Nope, just the one. Still, that was pretty fun. Um, I'm definitely going to do it again this week. 
um, make one more video out of it, but I liked it. It was a, it was an interesting format. I learned a lot. It's kind of nice since everybody's essentially playing the same deck. Um, I got to play the same deck eight times, and I learned kind of what cards are really good and what cards weren't. Um, what cards were stronger than normal. So now next time I draft, I'll have a better idea of what, what the stronger cards are. Um, anyways, if you like this video, like to see more like this, uh, please hit like and subscribe down below. Comment and let me know um, if you like these kind of fun variant drafts rather than the the regular one. Of course, when Ravnica Allegiance is out, I'm going to definitely be drafting that. But um, sometimes with the older sets, people aren't as interested in it. So if you'd like to see this instead, let me know. Um, and I will see you on Wednesday for another Deck Tech.